Tonight, it's a changing of the season. Put away the cleats, break out the high tops. Central Indiana has some of the state's best teams and the state's best players. It's a long way to March, but the big games begin tonight. Hoosier Hoop Hysteria, the season premiere, starts now. Oh, indeed it does. The final night of November brings us our first night of hoops for the 2012-13 season. Good evening. Brad Brown here with you tonight. Dave First is off. Jason Spells is right over there. He'll be with us in just a moment. The long haul of the season just getting started. There will be plenty of talented players to keep us excited on Friday nights. We start with a pair of guys that will be headed to IU next year. Just two weeks ago, Devin Davis of Warren Central and Cathedral's Colin Hartman signed their national letters of intent. Both headed to Bloomington. Hoping to play for Tom Crean and the Hoosiers. Well, tonight they had hoped to go head to head, but the young Mr. Hartman had to sit this one out. Was injured during practice this week, unable to play, but some teammates stepping up for number one Cathedral. Justin Baker stops and hits the Irish at a three point lead early. And then there was Davis. He is a good one, working hard for the Warriors. Saves it, baseline up and under. Nice little flip shot for the scores. This game stayed tight all night long. And the Irish back on the break. Mo Evans strong to the glass, draws the contact, no call, but gets the score. The game was tied there. It was a monster night for Davis. Here he steps out and hits the three, part of a career-high 30-point night. And this one going down to the wire. We pick it up to the fourth. Three-tenths of a second left. Cathedral down one, drawing it up. They get it in. Garrett Hall, though, can't get it off in time. And the Warriors hang on for the win over number one, 61-60. We need to step up a little more. We can't have Devin Davis doing that much. I mean, he's going to wear himself out. But like I said, again, we're still learning to play with each other. We'll get that taken care of in the next week or so. Outstanding performance by him. We could see those two teams play one another again very soon. Another top-ranked team tonight. That's number one and two, a Park Tudor here hosting Ron Colley. Trayvon Blewett on the run for the Panthers. Kid's only a junior. He's one of the best. Ron Colley working it inside. Jake Magas slides in. He scores, but this one going to Park Tudor tonight as they get the win 52 39 the final. Well, we talked about good teams and good players. They've got both at Hamilton Southeastern. HSC Zach Irvin among the early Mr. Basketball favorites. The Royals hosting Mount Vernon tonight. Jason Spells made the trip and he's back now with the highlights. Jason. How are you doing, Brad? Hamilton Southeastern knows a thing or two about turning out some of the state's best basketball talent. Of course, HSC was the home of last year's Mr. Basketball, Gary Harris. He has since moved on to Michigan State, but the Royals winning ways continue today. The team undefeated and taking on Mount Vernon this evening. Jersey night in Hamilton County. Everybody rocking a jersey. Marauders making sure they were dressed for the occasion. Mount Vernon. Taking it to Hamilton Southeastern early. Dan Warner in for the score. 10 for him on the night. You just heard Brad mention Zach Irvin. Take a good look at him. He was a force in the fourth, scoring seven in a row. The senior finished with a team high 17. HSC up two. Mount Vernon, though, playing like they are from Mount Olympus. CJ Coleman fading away, tying the game up. Game high 20 for CJ. Here he is coming up on defense, stealing the Zach Irvin pass. Going in for the score, but he's taking down hard. He'd have to temporarily leave the game. So in comes Christian Smith to shoot the free throws for Coleman, giving Mount Vernon the lead. Marauders now a few more freebies to go up three. Royals with the final shot. Irvin's long jumper just off. The Royals lose their first game of the season to Mount Vernon, 52-49. We just talked about it as a respect game. It's a responsibility to our community. We put three arms on the board. Just our community sports us so well. Our kids do a great job. Uh, we got great seniors and Steve Turner and Anthony Burnett. And it just continues down the line. CJ Coleman gave us a great game. And our bench, our bench made so many good plays that didn't hurt us. And just uh, it was a great team effort. Brownsburg at Fishers, a packed house just down the street from HSC. Our first look at head coach Ryan Nord this season, former Butler Bulldog, leading the Brownsburg Bulldogs first quarter. Nord not pleased when a fast break goes like this. Cortland Townsend for Fishers. Tigers up three. Back come the dogs. Gerald Harney, stop, pop. Good. Coach Nord relaxed. Both teams tied through the first half, but Fishers pulls away. Devin Chowdone, sick move, finishing with the left hand. Fishers wins by seven, 60 to 53. Fishers and HSC back in action tomorrow. The Tigers are at Kokomo while the Royals visit Pendleton Heights. Brad. Jason, thanks. Big one for Mount V up there at HSC. Make one more stop. We're going to Speedway. Spark plugs hosting Beach Grove. Plugs looking good in this one. Anthony Jones drives. Dish to Justin Brent for the score. And then Jordan Dobbs spotting up outside. Three going in. We got a couple more of those later. Easy win for Speedway tonight. 82-62. 
the final. Hey, the season's just getting started. The IndyChannel.com has all your scores every Friday night. Don't forget, our HTSN live coverage starts after the first of the new year. We look forward to that. College basketball Saturday, busy day for state teams. Ball State coming to Hinkle, taking on Butler, 2 o'clock tip there. Purdue hosts Xavier, number one IU home against Coppin State. That's a 7.30 start, and IUPUI makes a Summit League trip to South Dakota. Jason will have some highlights from some of those for you coming up tomorrow.